Once again welcome back to the video series on Math Revision Made Meticulous. Today topic day 23 Differential Equation Variable Separable Form. Revision as the name suggests mean looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind. 5 questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series. The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Let us see today equations in variable separable form. If the given differential equation can be put in the form f of x dx is equal to f of y dy, the differential equation can be solved by integrating on both sides. The meaning is the function x along with dx in one side and function of y along with dy in another side. We will be able to separate them. Functions of x along with dx and functions of y along with dy. Simply integrate it in the left hand side integral f of x dx, right hand side integral f of y dy plus c. Let us move on to a question now. X. Let us start with question number 1. Solve x plus 1 dy by dx is equal to 2 times xy. This is the given question. Here I have to split function y with dy and function y x with dx. Therefore, I am pulling that y to the left hand side. It will become dy upon y. And x plus 1 upon dx is pushed to the right hand side. It will become 2x upon x plus 1 into dx. It is a technique in variable separable. It will be done only if it is possible. Now we are ready with the function of y with dy and function of x with dx. Therefore, simply integrate. Integral upon 1 by y dy is equal to 2 times integral x upon x plus 1 dx. The right hand side integral you have to add and subtract 1 to manage the denominator. Therefore, it will become 2 multiplied by integral x plus 1 by x plus 1 by taking x plus 1 as a single term and minus 1 upon x plus 1. Now you got 2 times integral dx minus 1 upon x plus 1 dx. Now everything is ready for integration. Right hand side is 2 times x minus log x plus 1. Left hand side is log y. This is the answer for this is a general solution for this. Therefore we are adding plus c to that. Let us move on to the next question. Solve cos x into 1 plus cos y dx plus sin y into 1 plus sin x dy. As usual let us push that second term to the right hand side. It become cos x into 1 plus cos y into dx is equal to minus sin y into 1 plus sin x into dy. Now all the x should be in one side. Therefore cos x I keep it as it is and 1 plus sin x I bring it to the left hand side. It will become cos x upon 1 plus sin x into dx equal minus sin y into dy I am keeping as it is and 1 plus cos y is pushed to the right hand side. Let us integrate. Highly interesting integration. Numerator contains the differentiation of the denominator. Di differentiation of 1 plus sin x is cos x, it is in the numerator. Differentiation of 1 plus cos y is minus sin y, it is in the numerator. For you can write directly log of the denominator, that is log of 1 plus sin x is equal to log of denominator, therefore 1 plus cos y plus c. For here we are directly applying the idea of, uh, we can do by substitution also, but if the numerator contains exactly the differentiation of the denominator, you can directly write log of the denominator as the answer. Let us move on to question number 3. e power x into root 1 minus y square dx is equal to plus y by x into dy is equal to 0. As usual, push that uh, y by x dy to the right hand side. Now we are seeing here that we can pull and push. For dy we will keep it in the right hand side and dx we will keep it in the left hand side. And it will become x is there already. x into e power x into dx. x is being cross multiplied. x into e power x dx is equal to minus y upon root 1 minus y square into dy. Integrating both sides. Integral x into e power x dx is equal to minus of integral y upon root 1 minus y square into dy. To do the integration we have to do some alterations. That is I am keeping that minus y inside and multiplying and dividing by 2. So that the numerator will contain the differentiation of the term inside the square root. Now let us look at the integration in the left hand side. That can be evaluated using integration by parts. It is polynomial and exponential. I keep u as the polynomial, dv as the exponential. du is equal to dx, v is integral e power x dx which is e power x. 
and the right hand side integral dx upon root x numerator contains the differentiation of the term inside the square root it is 2 root x let us put the integration the left hand side integration by integration by parts u into v x into e power x minus integral v du for integral e power x dx right hand side half into 2 into root 1 minus y square therefore you got the answer x into e power x minus e power x is equal to root 1 minus y square plus c let us move on to question number 4 dy by dx is equal to 1 plus x plus y plus xy by seeing the question we are thinking that okay it cannot be split by variable separable but on the right hand side you take 1 plus x as one term and from the term number 2 3 and 4 you take y outside it will become y into 1 plus x therefore take 1 plus x outside it will become 1 plus x into 1 plus y well now we are ready now therefore dy upon 1 plus y is equal to push that dx to the right hand side 1 plus x into dx keep it in mind dy and dx cannot be in the denominator they should be in the numerator something into dy is equal to some function into dx that you have to remember integrate now left hand side integration 1 upon 1 plus y therefore log of 1 plus y right hand side integral x plus x square by 2 plus c let us move on to question number 5 these type of question are called particular solution question the idea is very simple after writing the general solution as something plus c y is equal to something plus c that c will be evaluated by giving that value for x and y these types of problem are called particular solution problem okay let us continue the given problem is 1 plus e power 2x into dy plus 1 plus y square e power x dx pushing the second term to the right hand side 1 plus e power 2x dy is equal to minus of 1 plus y square into e power x dx now we are ready to pull and push dy keep it in the left hand side and dx on the right hand side and pull that 1 plus y square to the left it will become 1 by 1 plus y square dx push that 1 plus e power 2x to the right hand side it will become minus e power x by 1 plus e power 2x into dx integrate it now that is the integration i am keeping the minus sign outside 1 upon 1 plus y square dy is equal to minus integral dx upon 1 plus e power 2x into dx let us move on now in the right hand side integral e power x by 1 plus e power 2x i visualize it as e power x by 1 plus e power x the whole square so that the numerator contains the differentiation of e power x therefore i am using the substitution idea i take u is equal to e power x dv du as e power x dx now let us continue 1 upon 1 plus y square dy is equal to minus 1 upon 1 plus u square du both are having the same formula integral dx upon 1 plus x square is tan inverse x for left hand side will become tan inverse y right hand side will become minus tan inverse u plus c but we have to do the resubstitution tan inverse y is equal to minus tan inverse of e power x plus c now let us uh, write it like this tan inverse x tan inverse y plus tan inverse e power x is equal to c if it is a general solution problem this is the final answer but this problem is a problem where we want to evaluate that c for that it is given that x is equal to 0 uh, when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 but wherever y comes replace it by 1 1 and whenever x comes replace it by 0 therefore it will become tan inverse 1 plus tan inverse of e power 0 is equal to 1 all of you know e power 0 is 1 so tan inverse 1 plus tan inverse 1 is equal to c 2 times tan inverse 1 is equal to c 2 times pi by 4 is equal to c c is equal to pi by 2 therefore the given particular solution will be written as tan inverse y plus tan inverse e power x is equal to pi by 2 but what is the difference this problem we are evaluating it we are integrating it we are finding the solution if the solution contained plus c it is a general solution if some boundary values are given that is when x is equal to 0 y value is given we are evaluating that c and again we are expressing the solution along with c that solution is called a particular solution well success is dependent on effort all the best and thank you